But until then, I mean, it's going to be a different world here. There's going to be, we're just going to do our show completely isolated. And if they have issues, they can go through Steve or they can go through my attorney. That's what I would say for now. I mean, right now, my attitude is fuck Barstool until they get their shit together and deal with this fucking idiot, K Marco. So, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. So, yeah, you know, I came, I, I, my backstory, I've, we've told this story five million times. Everyone watching this right now on YouTube, listening on the podcast. Knows the situation that happened to me before with Murchison um, and activists. And there have been activists and weird people in the past. I've just dealt with. It's just part of my career. I understand that. That's part of what you do. All the way back, there were crazy people at the EI. This what, crazy guy, Larry, who always accused me of doing stuff that made no sense. I remember one time I was driving somewhere back home or something. And the police showed up at EI. He reported me to the police. And they were talking to me on the phone. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Obviously, the merch and stuff, which everybody knows about. Um, <clears throat> um, we don't need to tell that story again. So, you know, I understand when you do a show like this, there's going to be some level of craziness from the people who, are, who love us and from the people who hate us. And that's really, in a weird way, okay. So I'm, you know, like, I'll just address it quick and, and then, you know, you know, then sort of get to some other stuff. But, um, uh so this, you know, this guy Zonker who got brought in here from where, wherever and, uh, and, you know, has the barstool domain or something, you know, whatever it is, I don't really care. You know, tweeted out yesterday, uh, Kirk is too much of a pussy to kill himself, but uh, a quote, un- failed, uh, end quote, attempt is likely. So whatever. Like, I, I'm, when I tell you that, that doesn't, he can say that, that people got, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that's, he can think that, I mean, I, I know the truth, so it's, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. He's just crazy. Um, so my issue is that human being, um, was given a platform on a place I work for, uh, and it was up there until we alerted people and then it was taken down and we put it back up. We never asked for it to be canceled or anything. Um, but my problem, and this is one of these things that gets in my head and sticks with me is that he conspired with somebody at the company. Uh, K. Marco, who's the editor, um, to put that up there. K. Marco tried to fuck us over with a guy like that uh, for a company I work for, a person who thinks things like that and other things. I've, he's blocked me, but I've seen him. I guess all his tweets are protected now. He's been trying to fuck me over uh, with K. Marco. And, you know, I want the guy to be fired. I've said it for a couple weeks. I said it as a joke. Obviously, it was a hashtag. Fire K. Marco. The guy should not have a job. I mean, this is fucking crazy. He went into business with this guy, uh, knew everything. They had been talking before, and he puts that up there, and it just goes away. And K. Marco is whatever, not been working. Maybe he's been suspended, maybe not. I don't know. But I just have a hard time working at the same company with a fucking guy like that. I'm not quitting. But, I mean, I got some real fucking issues. If they're going to let this asshole come back and run this website for a company I work for, knowing he's capable of stuff like that. And he's just a fucking lying sack of shit. I'm telling you, my issue is not with this. This Zonker guy is crazy. He makes no sense. He's no Bob. I'll say this. He's no fucking Bob Murchison. Bob Murchison, who I fucking hate, is fucking smart and measured and calm and fucking strikes. This guy is just makes no sense. I, like, I don't even know. Like Murchison, the root of Murchison hating me was that he had a, uh, a transgender um, son, uh, a born female, um, transition to to a man correct that's correct yes, yes. Remember, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so like he did that and then he turned it into something else fine you know um the, like if you said to somebody why does this guy hate me i have no fucking idea i don't want to know it doesn't make any sense whatever i don't care i don't care about the people who listen to my show who like the guy don't like the guy whatever they can fuck off too they can float away into the sunset float back to Maine or to UMass or wherever you are. I don't really give a fuck. Go away and get out of my fucking life. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to keep doing the show for the people that like us and like what we do. But I got to say, like, I, I just have a real problem with Barstool right now. And people are going to say, oh, man, man. so I'm trying to be as fair as I can about this. I'll outline a couple of things. Number one, we're, gonna, we're off next week. We're going to come back next Monday and Tuesday just to do shows. We had no advertising. We're just going to do them just because just we wanted to do them. That's not happening. So we're off for the next two weeks. Um, but we will do shows, some shows on our new, uh, on our new, through our new mailing service. Right, Steve? Yeah. Okay. So we'll email a couple of those out for people that want to listen to the show uh, and care about the show and care about us and want to protect us and, you know, care about us doing the best we can. So that'll happen. Um, uh, you can listen to the rest later. We'll sign off on YouTube now. We got more stuff to say. You'll, you'll hear it in the podcast. 
Um, <clears throat> you know, number two for me personally, because I don't want to get in there, like just as an individual, I don't want to get in the bad. I like a lot of people at Barstool. I like uh, Eric a lot. I like Dave a lot. I like uh, Kevin and Dan and, and, you know, a lot of these guys. So I'm just not going to talk to any of them right now. So I just, you know, if you're listening, if you want to communicate, you can communicate through Steve or you can communicate through my attorney. Uh, I'm just not, because it's just going to lead to me getting upset and angry and it's going to lead to me saying bad things and things I don't want to say. And just, there's just no, there's for me, no value in doing it. So uh, just, you know, leave me alone. Let me do my show. Um, You do yours and that's fine. Uh, But I just, you know, leave me alone. Um, because you know, you've chosen th- their sides and sides have been chosen. And I respect that. I respect that sides have been chosen, but I, I don't agree with it. And uh, I can't, I just simply, I can't, I can't participate in it. Um, <clears throat> third is, you know, a regret now for me is, is doing these, you know, doing, there's nothing in my contract, which I just read through this morning. It says, I need to do a Wilbur. I need to do Sacco. I need to do, uh, <clears throat> Madawaska. We need to do any of these things. It's a shame that we kind of did them and we should have just done them on our own. I mean, I, you know, we, we could have made the money ourselves. You know, we're doing this uh, partially for our own sake, but partially for Barstool. We're bringing a lot of revenue for Barstool, a lot of revenue for Barstool that others aren't. And when you do stuff like that, and then the re- the re- the re- is to sort of mock you and then say, oh, your reaction, K Marco, that, that. Well, I mean, again, I would just say, look at that tweet yesterday and look at what happened to get that up on the site. And you may not think it's a big deal individually, but if you think about it, if you really think about it, it's fucking crazy that that happened. The fact that that happened is fucking insane. And not that it went up there, that it went up there and we weren't allowed to put stuff up there. It's from this human being who tweets stuff like this yesterday is just fucking madness. Like, I don't even really know what else to say. I'd also say this. Like yesterday, I think we put up the hashtag Kirk was right shirts on Barstool. You're a fucking sucker if you buy those today, man. You're a fucking sucker. And the Fire K Marco shirts, you're a fucking sucker if you buy those, right? That's just us. And that's shame on me yesterday for signing off. I didn't think about it. I would Right now, if, if you really want to show loyalty, I would not buy those. I'd say, listen, I, I can't trust this company right now. If I'm a Minna fan, you've got K Marco trying to fuck us over. You've got Ellie Schnitt well within her rights calling us racist. Not a single person at Barstool says, well, that seems strange. We, we know this guy. We know the listeners. That's not really true. Uh, and you've got Dave at every turn saying that men the fans suck and they're fucking crazy and they're assholes. And they're fu-. so, I mean, it's just like, I, like what? if I'm in the fan, I'm thinking, why, what am I doing other than Kirk? Why am I investing in this company? Other than the show every day for two and a half hours, every single day, live shows. And you know, if it's an issue, like here's the deal. Like if you're Barstool, you, this show's only getting bigger. We could go next year. Oh, and by the way, we're doing serious just to be nice, right? You can inform Correct. them I will not be doing serious next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, or going forward. Um, so, like, we're just, you know, we, we, next, this show gets bigger. We could, we could bang out 10 of these shows next year around the country if we wanted to. You know, for Barstool, I don't know, how much will they clear after the two Wilbur shows and we're done with everything? Uh, it'll be around 150000 Okay. $150,000. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a part of that goes back to pay our salaries, and I understand that. Um, but you know, we don't have. It's not my contract. Not my contract. I have a nice base salary. I mean, I don't have to do it. I do mine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do it. I do it selfishly, obviously, to some extent, because I want to make more money. But I also want to do it for the fans. And I also think, oh, it's a good thing to do for Barstool. They've been nice to us. We'll do this. We'll do that. The Saco thing in the middle of a pandemic. We sold out two shows. But essentially, the second one's almost sold out. It'll sell out. Um, and you think, oh, it's 250 tickets. Well, not really, because it's four people in a car. And they're going to jam it's these fucking tickets, cars. Yeah. It's 2,000 people going to a drive-in movie theater for a weekend in the middle of Maine, in the middle of the summer, in the middle of a pandemic. 2,000 people who want to spend money and want to help us out. And if Barstool said, hey, you know, fucking rub their backs once in a while, they would love them. But instead, they fucking treat them like fucking shit. In the meantime, most of the bloggers at Barstool are just sitting around their apartments, scratching their balls, not, com- not coming no, up with creative nothing. ways no, to No, messaging money. each other like the idiot we had on last week. Uh, Nate. Yeah, Nate. Who's oh, right. fucking making eyes at fucking bar. You know, he knew about the story before. We all know that now. Um, and that's all fine. I don't really care. Uh, but it just frustrates me. And it's, it's a trigger for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I take this very, 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 very personally. Not the thing about Zonker, some lunatic saying that I should kill myself. Whatever. I don't. That that's you know an obviously an asshole thing to say, but it's being purposely an asshole thing to say. You're waving your arms. Congratulations, you won. My issue's not with him. It's like you know he's a sick dog, and he was enabled by somebody who is very calm, hates us, has fucked us over from the start, hates Steve, 
you know, hates Mike, hates me. So he tried to fuck us over. And you know what? He won. He, I guess, sort of in a way, he won. It's great. And now Zonker can go to pen executives and advertisers and say, hey, I was published at Barstool Sports with Correct. my complaint. Right. Or well, they of course, even say they what, agree with me. What it's what I, like I, giving Murchison a, a nighttime that's what, that's what I said last. Yeah. This is what I said when it happened. So, you know, Zonker is saying now he's contacting pen, pen, people at Penny is. He has some email. He's just spamming it out to pen employees all day, I guess. And now he's threatening to contact advertisers. Now, the difference, of course, is this is why he's so stupid. Was it Martin Riesler or Reiser? Reisler. Reisler. No Martin Reisler. This is why he's so stupid, Martin Reisler, is unlike Murchison, you know, Murchison would never put a tweet out like that ever, no. ever. Murchison's right. too smart. Now, now, Barstool, now, by the way, I guarantee you this, nobody at Barstool has put together some response to this immediately where they say, hey, you know, Kirk has this history of mental health. He's gone away three times in his life, four times in his life for this, you know. Uh, battles of stuff all the time. Here's a bunch of stories, and here's the tweet this man sent out. This is the guy you're dealing with. They haven't done that because they don't do anything. You, you know the salespeople. They're just sitting there fucking ass all day. We had a conference call with Erica the other day. No salesperson has reached out to me since. Uh, we're scheduled to meet with them on Monday. We will not be doing that. Okay. Tell, can you inform them that will not be happening until things are corrected? I'm certainly not participating in that. Um, so, you know, that's not being done. You know, nothing's being done, and that's okay. It's all right. They hate us, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll keep doing the podcast. We'll do our ad. We have great advertisers. We have great listeners. And there's a lot of people I like there. So, I mean, it's, it's, this is not an intercom situation. But, I mean, this is the equivalent of letting Bob Murchison write for WEI.com or letting him have a one-minute commercial on EEI. I mean, and the idea that it was only up for 45 minutes, so what? All he needs to be up for one second to take one picture. So, I don't know. It's frustrating. Go ahead, uh, Steve or Mike or whatever. It's it's just yeah that that's the thing about Zonker is that he's doing it as a troll and to be funny I guess or be crazy or edgy or something and they just decided like let's give him some sort of he had no credibility and now he does because he can say he kept bothering people trying to get on barstool or wherever else and one person decided let's give this person some credibility now and he has it yeah so I mean you know I get complaints from people who say that they. It takes longer for our merchandise to get to them versus other merchandise that they order. So I don't know. And I don't even get into that conspiratorial stuff. I don't really care. But, you know, um, yeah, I just think we're dealing with a guy who I told him a couple weeks ago, when you get when you let somebody like this, you give somebody the keys to the car, this is what happens. And oh, and this and that. And here we go again. You know, and again, he's not Murchison. But the idea is, you know, if he was, if he was calmer and smarter, the blog post still would have run. So then you'd be dealing with somebody who knew what they were doing. I mean, it's not, K. Marco didn't, and K. Marco has corresponded with this guy for years on email. So, I mean, we know that. So it's just, you know, the fact that this guy has a job right now, I'm just fucking, it's, 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 incre it's incredible to me. It's incredible. I'm incredibly disappointed in people I respect for allowing that to happen, but they've made their choices and I'm making mine. And so I'm going to do our show, our podcast, which we're obligated to do. I will do it. I have 25 days a year in which I don't have to do it. Uh, we're taking five next week. And then what? I don't know how many we have to. It'll be two now for the 4th of July week. And two. So there you go. And I'll have whatever, 18 more to go. And I'll take every single one of those. You know, I didn't do it last year, but I'm going to do it this year. Uh, and I would say, you know, we should, you know, I, I don't know about canceling Wilbur, but I think certainly we should start having a conversation with Barstool about how maybe we should just pay them the fees for Wilbur, the, you know, the whatever that was. And maybe we just handle it ourselves because I, I, I find I, it's uncomfortable to me knowing that as a, a guy who has uh, stock in Penn National, um, and the, the K Marco could be getting, or works of Arsenal could be getting a dollar from my work. A dollar of our work might actually go to his check. You know, that just, I just, it, to me, it's simply unacceptable. It's a guy who's tried, I would never, ever, 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 ever do that to him, ever in that situation. I mean, now I want him. Now, now he's bucking. I said last night, I stand by, I fucking hate him more than I hate Murchison, Shirley, Kennedy any of them because this guy worked with me this guy worked with me like guys like mark hannon whatever they're just pussies they inherited the disaster it's all the way down from david field k marco conspired it was like oh this could fuck this guy over oh well and he, and he knew he came on here he lied he took his beating because he had to and he's he's gone away on social media he's been quiet for a couple weeks like the pussy that he is and he'll come back and have some excuse for it and whatever and he cried to me on the phone and bullshitted and tried to saddle up to me about his own personal issues which are a bunch of fucking bullshit too I fucking hate the guy, and as long as he's working there in that position, I, I just, I just, I just find it completely unacceptable. And you know, I know I'm not, I'm not alone in that company, but I'm the only one who, I guess, is, is is unafraid to say it because I don't really give a fuck. I also think a lot of people don't understand. Like, I, I honestly do get why some people are loyal to K Marco. Like, I sure. understand that, but I think 
they also don't get why letting Zonker on the blog was a bad thing. Because like they're, they, they're stupid. Right. They're stupid. But they might they just think, like, oh, you, like, I mean, we heard Kevin say the other day, like, just write a blog about it and move on. But he, I don't think you realize now the guy's contacting Penn National and contacting advertisers and saying you're anti Semitic or racist yeah, or whatever right. the fuck. Well, that's, and then, yeah, and guys like Kevin can, they can do what they, you know, they, that's fine. He can do what he wants. And I know he's, he, look, he chose sides and I get that. He's known K Marco longer. They're friends. We're not really friends, I suppose. That's okay. Uh, so it's better for me to step out than than to get ugly with people, you know, because I just don't think there's any benefit, especially people I like. There's no benefit. There are things you can say and shots you can take. And it's really just it doesn't do any good. I like all those guys are good guys. You know, Kevin and Dan and right. Dave and Eric. I mean, those are the only ones I really know. And some other people, they're all nice people, but they, they're they they're doing their own thing. And we're a, a small star in the galaxy of Barcelona. I completely understand that. But it's all I care about. It's my fucking show. It's my life. So I'm not going to sit here and worry about what fucking Ellie Schnitter or how they're making money or not making money. But, you know, the other thing I would say is if you're a guy, I, I just thought about, you know, I know it seems pretty obvious, but from a Minifan perspective, it's kind of like, well, Barcelona is kind of shit in our mouth here. You know, like, like you know, you've got uh, uh, K. Marco trying to fuck our show over and even Ellie Schnick calling us racist. And it's just like, well, you know, why, why, what are we, what the fuck are we doing? Like, and oddly, Ellie's mad that nothing's being done. Right. And she's complaining. And I, I can tell, <laughs> tell you this. I have not, you can ask Dave and Eric, I have not said to them once. Uh, take down the blog post. Take down anything Ellie said about me. I sure as fuck don't care. Yeah. I would say, you know, fire K. Marco. I, that's my suggestion. But I'm not saying, you know, this is what I think they should do. I'm not saying fucking do it. I'm saying I think they should do that. They should absolutely fire him. He sucks at his job. And I've, I've told him this before. I've told Erica and Dave. He's going to cost them even bigger than this. And this is big. You know, this show's big now. It's going to get bigger. And if it gets bigger somewhere else, they're going to be in the same fucking position they've been in again, where they let somebody walk out the door and that person makes a lot of money somewhere else. And eventually that, that's going to catch up to them, you know, or maybe not. I don't know. Well, all it's going to take is one advertiser who's very risk averse that gets an email from some lunatic sure, saying, say, hey, it. you know, Kirk, We've been down Kirk this X, before. Y, and Z. Even Ellie Schnitt says this about Kirk. Why are right. you advertising with him? Yeah. And the, then, those, you know, the hip book is out there. K, yeah. K Marco has cost them. Yeah. Yes. Well, it, yeah, I think he already has. I mean, just if you're a Penn National executive or whatever, you're like, what, what is this? What is going on here? Who is yeah. this? And it would be, I would honestly be, and no, I don't mean any disrespect to you. I don't know how this is going to come off, but it would be like Eric hearing oh blind mike did something fucking fire right you know what i mean like yeah. if penn national has to deal with just some show they don't know exists or whatever right. yeah then they'll be like well I'll just get rid of it <clears throat> now the difference is if this happens now obviously if they fire me right now it would be for them a, a legal issue and i don't think they would do that a real legal issue but secondly i would just do something else like I, i'm not you know the, the other people need the other people need these jobs you know the k marcos and kevin's these people need this because they would be nothing without it so but like for me, whatever. I'll do it somewhere else. I'll bring my audience somewhere else. I like it here. I like these people. I like being able to do this, but I'm very frustrated right now. I think it's insane. I told him this last week, and I was starting to get over it a little bit. Then I saw that tweet yesterday. I thought, this fucking guy gave this fucking guy a platform on my the place where I work, where I work. He let this happen. So fuck him. I mean, you know, I, I hope, you know, and maybe this will mean nothing to them. I don't know. Maybe they won't respond. I have no idea. Nor do I really care. So, you know, I'll be gone after tomorrow for the next couple of weeks, and we'll do some stuff on our, on our own specific, uh, uh, emailing list. We'll do some shows there. You can find us at kirkminahanshow.com. Kirkminahanshow.com. Um, and I think the Barstool people can complain about that. But again, that fucking idiot you talked to a couple of days ago, have him call me. Have him call me. I'll rip his fucking head off. I mean, I just have no patience for it anymore. I really don't. I mean, if you don't think you're going to protect yourself when you work at a place where a guy like that is allowed to have a powerful position, you're out of your fucking mind. I mean, you're just out of, I mean, you're just out of your goddamn mind. I'm, uh, you know, so, I mean, that's really essentially about it. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'll take the next few weeks off after tomorrow. We'll do tomorrow's show. Tomorrow's show will be fine. Um, and I'm calm. I'm not really, I'm just kind of, there's just no, I, I just have no, it, it, I saw that tweet yesterday. I thought, why, what is this person doing at this fucking company with this job? And people say, oh, we made a mistake. And, maybe, and I don't want to argue with those people. They're nice people. I just don't feel it because it's fucking not a mistake. That is not a mistake. This was a deliberate, thought out thing. Of Nate, course it was. Barstool Nate tweeted out something, suggest 10 minutes before that post went live, that suggests that K Marco had been conspiring with at least another Barstool employee. They both thought it was a good idea. They were excited about it. They get a little thrill up their leg, thinking that they were going to take a shot at you because they disagree with you over what? Politics? Or something like that. I don't even like, know. K, Mar K Marco let the Barstool blog become a vehicle for his own personal petty political grudges. Right. And that is not what an editor in chief should do. That's dangerous. No, of course. But they don't, you know, Dave doesn't understand that even really. And like those guys, and they're all friends. And it's, I don't, you know, they'll respond to that. I'm just, they, they just, you know, it's, it's fine. They're, they're nice people. Let them do whatever they want. They can live in their fantasy land. That's fine. That's no big deal. 
But, you know, I think of it now from a Minda fan perspective, and I'm I, I'm sure they're in a fuck barstool mode, and I don't blame them at all. Like, you know, it's it, they should be. I would be if I was a fan of a show like this. This was going on. This happened. And then this guy goes on there yesterday. And, and again, it's a guy who's been enabled by people in our own community. That's fine, too. I mean, that's, you know, people can do what they want, but it is... It's a frustrating time right now. But anyway, we have some great, we do have some great sponsors. I have to say that. And they've been loyal. And thanks to Tommy John. Go to tommyjohn.com slash Kirk to get 20% off site wide. Tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. Tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. What does that get you? Well, it gets you that cool cotton uh, underwear, which I like a lot. I've been wearing it running this morning, wearing it right now. Uh, best pair you'll ever wear. It's free guarantee. Tommy John, no adjustment needed. Tommy John, no adjustment needed. You go to tommyjohn.com slash Kirk, 20% off site wide. TommyJohn.com slash K-I-R-K. Dr. Sheffield, of course, has been with us for uh, a while. We like them. Uh, they'll be great friends of ours in the, in the, in the present and going forward. Uh, the best toothpaste out there. Let these guys know, Dr. Sheffield and Tommy John, and all these guys, uh, uh, how much they mean to you. Uh, Dr. Sheffield certified. You go to DrSheffieldsNaturals.com. DrSheffieldsNaturals.com. If you do that, you get 10% off uh, your deal. If you go to any CVS or Walgreens, you get a dollar off. Dr. Sheffield invented toothpaste in the 1870s. First one to do it. It's, it is, it's the only toothpaste I use. I use it this morning. I use it after lunch. I use it before bed tonight. I love Dr. Sheffield. Dr. Sheffield certified naturals.com. Dr. Sheffield's naturals.com. 10% or go to any CVS or Walgreens to get $1 off at Dr. Sheffield. And now we have cryo freeze. Uh, omaxhealth.com. Again, if you're a runner or whatever you're doing, you want to, I believe me, I was frustrated this morning. Thanks. To Omax Health. I stepped in my run a little bit. Thanks to these guys. Uh, not as much pain. You go to uh, omaxhealth.com, O-M-A-X health.com. You enter my name again, Kirk, 20% off, cryo-freeze, uh, and everything else site-wide. It's a roll-on developed by Omax Health, non-prescription, triple-action, pain relief roll-on, specially formulated to block pain receptors, reduce inflammation, and improve muscle and joint flexibility. Works its magic within 10 minutes of application. Relief lasts up to eight hours. Much longer than over-the-counter products. Omaxhealth.com, O-M-A-X health.com. Enter my name, Kirk, K I R K. You get 20% off cryo, freeze, and site-wide. OMAXHealth.com. Uh, so our great friends at OMAX Health, Tommy John and Dr. Sheffield, great sponsors. I, I mean, again, I just say like, you know, do the show tomorrow, next few weeks off, and, you know, men the fancy, just do what you do and, and, you know, do it right, do it properly, but let people know if you're pissed off because this is how it works. You know, when they listen and respond, whether it's people at Barstow, whether it's Erica, whether it's Dave, you know, let them know. Let them know you're frustrated. Or if you're not frustrated, don't let them know. If you think I'm being a baby, let me know. I don't care. But I just know after what happened to me with Murchison, I am never again going to put myself in a position where I let somebody like that control anything that I do ever, 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 ever again, ever. Uh, and I would never work with somebody who enables that ever. So it's going to be, you know, I mean, we're at the point now where it's getting close to giving me me or this fucking asshole. So that's going to be up to Barstool. It's going to be a conversation, I'm sure. But until then, I mean, it's going to be a different world here. There's going to be, we're just going to do our show completely isolated. And if they have issues, they can go through Steve or they can go through my attorney. That's what I would say for now. I mean, right now, my attitude is fuck Barstool until they get their shit together and deal with this fucking idiot, K Marco.